A few years ago, I was preparing myself for my first visit to India. So the people who I know started to ask me what India has apart from slums, yoga and Bollywood. Many of my well-wishers warned me about my safety in India as they had heard the news of rapes from media. But they got completely shocked when I explained to them that actually our own Western countries have a lot more rapes than India and the correct way to understand the statistics of a crime is not by numbers but by proportions. Due to a massive population that India has, the numbers of a crime can easily go very high. But in proportions, India is so much better than us. Only when I explained this to my well-wishers, they realized how our media had been manipulating us and it still continues to do so. Whenever I am back in Poland or in any part of Europe, I am asked if India is interesting to travel at all. So many people around the world have a very low awareness about this country. And today, I am going to tell my friends and the world citizens about India. Before I start to tell you what this country has, let me start it with a small example that one can so easily see on the streets of India. We all know how an average poor man in Europe finds it nearly impossible to take his family out to the cinemas, entertainment parks or for a dinner because they all cost a lot of money. In Europe, for a person on a very low budget, buying new clothes or traveling out of the city with their family is probably a dream that unfortunately never comes true. The truth is that for most of the people in Europe who have less money, eating out is mostly restricted to kebabs or just buying a bread from a supermarket because the lifestyle in Europe is such that there are just not too many options for a poor. But in India there are cinemas, entertainment parks, restaurants and markets that are not just for the elite and the middle class but also for those who are on a very low budget. In India, a poor can also buy new clothes or gifts for his loved ones because there are so many affordable markets that are well within their reach. In India, a poor person who has a very low budget can also afford to dine out with family to enjoy those joyful family moments and trust me, in such affordable markets they are also selling exotic Chinese food or even an Italian pasta. How many poor in Europe can afford exotic multi-cuisine meals or a travel within their country in trains or buses? In India there are just so many types of options and lifestyles which come in all kinds of budgets. A full meal starts from 10 rupees and can go as high as anywhere else in the world. There are multiple price categories in buses, trains, its cinemas and in everything else to suit everybody's budget. And just to let you know, all these businesses make profits too. The super low cost and affordable markets of India are also visited by the middle class people and many times even the riches because they got a good bargain or they just love the atmosphere of such places that are so full of life and energy. And this is how India nourishes and protects all her citizens by giving them so many different opportunities in different budgets and these so many parallel lifestyles that are mingled together is a sight to see which continues to mesmerize me every day. I like to travel in India because it has a plenty to offer. Whether you are on a shoestring budget, a middle class traveler or someone who wants to be pampered with the highest luxury. Whether you are a tourist, a professional, a spirituality seeker or someone 
who wants to be benefited by India's medical tourism, this country welcomes everyone without any prejudice. From its salt flats to its rainforest, from its pristine islands to its volcanoes, from its cold desert of Ladakh to its great tar desert of Rajasthan and Gujarat, from its rich jungle safaris to its mysterious ancient tribes who continue their story even today, India can literally overwhelm you. And the story goes on in the tea and coffee plantations of its northeast and its south and also in its beaches of the 7,000 km plus coastal line. Feel the intensity of the famous Chadar trek in the mighty Himalayas or see how the life manifests in the freezing temperatures of Tawang or simply admire its hundreds of waterfalls, terrace farms or its rice fields. Admire its metropolises that are bursting with life with millions of success stories that are still untold and unheard. Stories that are transforming and touching lives of more than a billion people. The people who are playing their role in the epic journey of the re-emergence of the largest ancient economy. Get inspired in its mega cities or get purified in its organic villages where thousands of years old traditional farming still continues. Go and see what it feels to be in the cleanest village of Asia or feel the spirituality in the air of Varanasi. Get an adrenaline boost from the adventurous or recreational sports or taste the thrill of its ancient games and martial arts. Get yourself blown away by its diversity, which exists not just in its cuisine, but also in its hundreds of languages, in its landscapes, in its religions, or even in the skin colors of its people. Go for a road trip on its highways and be ready to go off-road, or even on the roads made of tree roots. Discover the biggest and oldest vegetarian cuisine of the world in its ancient civilization, which today is an undisputed master of software and space science. See how the largest and the ancient democracy of the world is protected by one of the strongest and largest militaries of the world. See how this country celebrates its thousands of ancient festivals Admire this land for its largest film industry, for its ancient bazaars, for its modern lifestyle and for the freedom that it gives to its all citizens, to its media and also the biggest freedom that India gives to even its tourists. Get awestruck by its unique flexible traffic system that showcases India's harmony in chaos or simply feel what it is like to be so tiny when you end up in one of its massive ancient caves that are all over the country. Experience the vibration of a metropolis in its modern metros or get pampered in its super luxurious Maharaja trains. Otherwise, just go for a regular train ride or ride something that you may want to call a toy. Get healed by Ayurveda and yoga or grab the benefits of its low cost and high quality medical tourism. Get lost and overwhelmed in the biggest human gatherings of Sabarimala and Kum, only to trace back your own ancient roots. Or see the discipline and devotion of the pilgrimages. Or see the palaces and forts which sing the glory of its hundreds of kings and kingdoms. It is impossible that you will be able to see it all in one trip. And it is impossible that I will be able to tell you enough about India in a short film like this. Because with all that India has, it is easily a world within the world. 
When you are in India, don't just chase what your country's media has been showing you, as this is what the most of the travelers do. Because it is much more thrilling to feel the spirit of India, which is much bigger than a few stereotypes that the world media has presented. The spirit which you can find in its hospitality, as India still continues to welcome any outsider without losing its holistic tradition of Atiti Devo Bhava, even after all those invasions. Come and see how despite all odds, this longest continuous civilization has not just held on to its ancient roots, but also has given home to the ideologies, religions and culture that didn't originate from her own land. And such is her love to humanity that the minorities have thrived, flourished and have grown both in numbers and in wealth. And not just that, the people from the minorities have also held the top ranks in the government. Come and see how the immigrants feel protected in this land. Come and witness the longest coexistence of all major religions of the world. Come and see the close family bond that still exists in its society as it did thousands of years ago. And I will be right here, sharing with you my stories as I learn, explore and discover this country every day. The journey to India can open the doors to a brand new world and to a brand new reality, further opening the way to an eternal journey of your own spiritual upliftment that can lead to your inner soul awakening and enlightenment. See you in India.